Proverbs 21, 17 says, The lover of pleasure will be a man who lacks. The lover of wine and oil will not grow rich. Now, back in the days when this was written, back in the time of King Solomon, wine and oil represented uh, wealth and prosperity and influence. Um, you know, oil was pretty expensive. It was used for many things. It was used as a beauty product, as, you know, a, a cooking agent, uh, all these different things. And, and wine represented uh, wealth and prosperity and celebration, uh, prestige. So it says the lover of pleasure, alluding to wine and oil, the good life, you know, the rich life, the lover of pleasure will be a man who lacks. The lover of wine and oil will not grow rich. So it's talking about somebody who's pampered, somebody who is spoiled, somebody who feels entitled, somebody who, uh, you know, wants the good life and wants the good life now. Someone who wants their cake and, and they want to eat it too. I think of my parents and I think of my grandparents and I, I come from, you know, a, a poor family. I mean, my, both my parents grew up with uh, many siblings wearing hand-me-downs. My mom actually was born in a home with a dirt floor. Uh, they were hillbillies and they were the poor working class. And, you know, yet as when I was born, I got to see my grandparents live in a modest house, but they had indoor plumbing and they had all the necessities. And then growing up to see my parents, my dad had a successful um, service station uh, where he worked on cars and pumped gas. And, you know, we, we had everything that we needed. We were we were middle class. We were by no means poor, but we were by no means rich either. But to get to the point where both my grandparents and my parents got, it didn't happen overnight. They worked hard, they busted their bums, uh, blood, sweat, and tears, they scrimped and saved, they budgeted, they sacrificed, they did without, uh, in order that one day they could have, maybe not the good life as in a rich person, but to, to have a comfortable life, and, and for me, their child, to have a comfortable life. Well, that's not the way it is today. The way it is today, it's man, charge it, put it on credit, go into debt so you can live the good life that took years and years and years for your grandparents and parents to achieve. Do it now. And I really think that this verse is applicable to that today. The lover of pleasure will be a man who lacks, and the lover of wine and oil will not grow rich. You're not going to grow, grow rich, and you're not going to live the good life, and you're not going to live the comfortable life by going into debt to achieve it. There's other proverbs that allude to, you know, there's no such thing as a get-rich-quick scheme. The, the faster you accumulate money, the faster it grows wings and flies away. So the Proverbs and King Solomon and the Bible uh, have that solid foundation of a hard, hearty work ethic, uh, being patient, um, sticking to it, chipping away, and uh, doing, doing your best to, to accumulate uh, wealth in a sustainable and a legal way. So that one day you can live the good life. But if you're spoiled and you always think you got to have the latest tech, the latest gadget, the latest phone, the latest car, the latest fashion trend, what have you, and you go into debt to get that, you're never going to live the comfortable life. You're going to spend the rest of your life as a slave, busting your bum, working to pay off your debt. And it says that the borrower is servant to the lender. That's scripture as well. So remember, um, sacrifice, do without to get what you want so it won't be repoed. It won't be taken away from you. Uh, let, let's let's uh, take a, a lesson from our grandparents and our parents and to work hard and to save hard uh, to, to get what we want, uh, to be able to live a comfortable life instead of living a, a life of stress and worry and always in debt and always trying to, you know, working hard just only to pay off the interest, not even to chip away at the debt itself. Hey guys, thanks for listening. Go out there and have a great day. God bless. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to press the like button as well as the subscribe button if you haven't done so already and the notification bell that'll let you know every time I make a new video. 
and don't forget to share this with a friend. Also, visit our website at abrahamsdescendants.com. Thanks. Shalom.